Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Roge back here, or uh, Frankie, and um, today I'm going to be doing the math behind the birthday paradox. So I'll explain the problem first. Um, basically, you have 23 people in one room, and then what are the chances two people have the same birthday? All right, so many people think that it is one over three sixty five squared. Some people might think it's just one over three sixty five times one, but that just cancels out so just one three sixty five or this. And uh it's actually neither of those. And um it's probably not a percentage um it's not a percentage that most people would think it is. The percentage is actually about, I think it's like 50.7%. So yeah, it's pretty high for just 23 people. So today we're going to do the math. Um, so what we're going to start off with is instead of uh, seeing how many people have the same birthday, or like, instead of... Uh, seeing the pairs that have the same birthday we're going to do the pairs that like we're going to see the probability of them of two pair two people not having the same birthday and then we're going to do one minus that to find the uh percent chance of two people having the same birthday so first of all we're going to do 365 um exclamation point which is factorial which means 365 times 364 times 363 all the way down to 1, and that is going to be over 360, or, no, 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 342 factorial, and that is because you have, this is saying that, um, 365 factorial is all the possible birthdays, and then 342 factorial would be that nobody had those birthdays no, no like that's saying that from 365 to 342 that's saying that no one had the same birthday through those so that would be 23 so 365 minus 23 is 342 so that's just going these are going to cancel out to make uh 365 times 364 all the way down to 3 uh, like times 343, so we'll do that on the calculator right now. So let's just do 365, uh, factorial, where's the factorial? Factorial. Enter. Alright, so that's a huge number, as you can see. And then we're going to do that, divided by... And we'll put this in parentheses so it does this first 342, and then uh, we have to go to factorial again 342 factorial. So enter. So that's still a huge number. All right, now we're going to do that huge number that we just got, which is 365 factorial over 342 factorial. And we're going to put that over over 365 to the 23rd. Now, now this is saying that 365 people did not have the same birthday for every single day that uh, they had, which is uh, 20 or 365 minus 23 factorial. Well, those, those are both have factorials on them, and then it's going to be over 365 to the 23rd. Because 365 to the 23rd is count accounting for all of the po all of the possible pairs for all of the people, which is 
obviously there's 23 people so 60 365 times 365 is going to give us all the possible birthday combinations for two people and it's going to be giving us all the possible birthday combinations like two birthdays for 23 people now after this you do this math out so and then you're going to get the number that I got on my calculator right here you're going to get about 0 0.492703 and you have to do 1 minus that now so 1 minus that 2703 is going to give you about let's see it's going to give you about 0 0.507297 so this in a percent obviously you times that by 100 to give you a percentage and that's about 50.73 percent all right guys there you have it there's the math if uh i think i did a pretty good job explaining it but if you want a more in-depth explanation to it leave a comment or something like that don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and uh thanks guys i'll see you next time